Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, all my kind subjai mean citizens. Thank you so much for joining me on this uh, reaction. You have done a great service to me, giving me your support, allowing me into office, uh, although, <laughs> let's be honest, I was going to win regardless, not by cheating, of course. Hmm. So today we will be reacting to a video by WatchMojo.com that is called The Ten Ruthless Dictators. Just so then you will all see that I am not myself a ruthless dictator, as I've seen many of the hate comments. Yes, I'm hip too. We will be seeing just how great I am of a leader compared to these dictators, those horrible people. So, you know the ones, you know Stalin, Hitler, all those gentlemen. So let's, without further ado, see exactly how great I am, how lucky you are to have a leader like me. Ready? But before we start, be sure to give support before, uh, but otherwise, if you don't give support to Watch Mojo, I'll have to send you into my dungeon. <laughs> now then, let's get things started. Right, so, uh, in case you guys couldn't tell before, that was all just a little skit, you know? My own, uh, like, my own, uh, representation of a stereotypic dictator. You know, I don't know if that was a little far off, or if that was a little bit on the money or not. That's for you guys to decide. Uh, but it was just a little joke, you know? Hopefully nobody's gonna be offended by that. Although, if they get offended by that, I don't think I should be afraid by if anybody like that would be offended. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Watch Mojo. Top 10 Ruthless Dictators. Obviously, we're gonna have, like, uh, the man in the middle right there. You know? Good old, uh, I mean, bad old Adolf Hitler. Yeah, the only good thing about him is that he was born on the 20th of April. Well, that's not good about him. That's more like that was a good that was good for him because he was born. I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah, fun little fact. Anyone who likes uh, 420, yeah, he was born on that day. Honestly, when you think about it, the 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 lives of the dictators is kind of like it's awful for sure, but life shapes the person's uh, personality. So, uh, we'll see for ourselves how bad these guys were. Mm, I'm gonna, I'll just leave my own opinions towards the end, you know? I'll say some comments, of course. Hopefully, uh, none of them sounding offensive to you guys. I'm scared for my life right now saying something offensive. These type of videos, they're not exactly, like, ones that I'd be happy to react to. I don't know why people tell me to react to stuff like this, but apparently they do. Maybe they want me to have a little history lesson. And I'd appreciate that if I wasn't afraid of what people are going to say. I mean, these are dictators, of course. But what if I say something offensive towards the country they're from? I've got some uh, people watching me from other countries. I got Italy. I got Brazil. I got, like, I got some people from other countries as well, like Russia. A little surprising, to say the least. Whatever. Without further ado, let's get this started. But of course, give the guys support, alright? One thing's for certain, I love the Watch exactly Mojo intro. Complete control, often by force. Welcome to Watch and now Mojo. my face is drained just because I'm seeing all this. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most ruthless dictators. For this list, we've chosen some of the most notable and brutal dictators. Just something that you would expect is that if you're watching a video about dictators, chances crimes. are you're going to see a bunch of guys in helmets and Number guns 10, walking Kim in a formation. Gil. Like his father before him and his son after, the eccentric Kim Jong-il ruled North Korea strictly and with a strong personality cult. His was apparently one of the world's most repressive governments, with poverty-stricken residents isolated through restrictions to practically everything. Bet restrictions to practically everything. Yeah, you know what that means. They basically are closed off from the rest of the world in a way. It makes you wonder if anyone from North Korea is even allowed to leave the country. Uh, I bet not. They probably have, like, some kind of, like, 
paranoia thinking that if they leave, let any other citizens leave they they then chances are they'll think that the those citizens are going to be like spilling the beans about the country okay i'm sorry if i'm judging i'm sorry about that if that sounds offensive to anyone it just makes me so upset the kim family that are are like an oppressive oppressive leader like leadership group like uh, they're they are like basically with the mindset that they need to keep people away from North Korea and only like any and people in North Korea like only a few people are allowed to go into North Korea and it makes you wonder has anyone who was born and raised in that country ever been allowed to leave fun little fact if you go on snapchat right now and you do that thing where you look all around, where you can go around the world, click on a country, and you get to see a person that you don't know. You get to see that person snap. If you go to North Korea, you're not gonna find anything. If, and it's kind of, it should be kind of obvious. If they don't have Snapchat, that that's to say that there's probably no chance that the rest of the freaking people there use any other social media, so they're cut off from that. I remember seeing a video about North Korea the starvation, where they were not allowed labor. to use anything Some fun at all. Computers strictly work. In the millions, and that's without mentioning the nuclear millions. And nine, nuclear warheads. Francisco Franco. Spain I wonder what's up with leaders of uh, countries and nuclear warheads. The is there just like a? From Nazi is there just like a like a requirement for leaders nowadays to have like a bit of a fixation on nuclear warheads? and fascist Italy, the nationalists won the fascist ensuing Italy. bloody civil war. And Are we getting a Mussolini in this list? Murder and I don't want to hear about that guy. And more kept El Codillo in office almost four decades. And while the regime eventually softened and a democratic turnaround surged after his death, the repercussions of Franco's actions reverberate today. Un estado totalitario harmonizará en España. El funcionamiento de todas las capacidades y energías del país. Number eight, Mao Zedong. Who? This communist leader became a savior to many by founding the People's Republic of China and by oh. leading his people through industrial and cultural revolutions and the Great Leap Forward. Though China's transformation into a superpower is revered, critics suggest the cost of these initiatives in human lives ranged between 40 and 70 million due to famine, murders, and forced labor. What? Cementing Chairman Mao's place. 70 million! Figure. Number seven. Benito Mussolini. Ah, there he is. Portrayed as the only man capable of unifying Italy and restoring order, El Duce disassembled the democratic system, transformed the country into a one-party state, and seized power with his fascist party. Militia. You're probably wondering why I'm so triggered by this. For anyone who doesn't know, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this on my channel, I'm half Italian. So hearing something like this, nobody wants to hear bad stuff about their country. All right. I mean, I was born and raised in America, but I take pride in myself as an Italian and Brazilian. Yes, my other half is Brazilian. Italy is basically like a a whole entire book filled with history. There we have got lots of it. Art, cooking. We got people that were famous, you know, Leonardo. We had a uh, Andrea Bocelli, we had amazing singers, composers, stuff like that, you know? But then you got the negative stuff, like Benito Mussolini. And secret police met political foes with aggressive force or executions, while Mussolini expanded the Italian Empire by colonizing African countries. But it was his misguided partnership with Hitler that ultimately led to a spectacular downfall. Yeah. Number six, Saddam Hussein. Once called the world's most dangerous man, Saddam was one of the few dictators tried, convicted, and executed for his crimes. Though his unparalleled Damn. social programs were hailed, he executed dissidents, slaughtered the Kurdish population, and used what? oil and power as justification to invade neighboring countries. This triggered wars, unrest, and uprisings, and later, false allegations about weapons of mass destruction eventually led to his ruin. 
Number five. You know you're a terrible leader if your own people that voted for you into the, into the whole, like, uh, oh, yeah, we'll let you be our leader shtick. Bring down a statue that you decided to put up. It's your own fault for going ahead and put in the statue in the first place. Yeah, I think it's kind of obvious. I think it's uh, safe to say that if we, that if any country ever gets a leader, a new leader, and they put up a statue of themselves in a couple of places in a very intimidating way, like the statue looks intimidating or, or something like that, chances are that country might, might have made a mistake. I mean, I can't say that for certain because the U.S. has a lot of statues of their leaders. But in all respect, some of those leaders... I think those statues were made when the leaders are were dead, right? I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know. Leave it in the comments below. I'd like to know whether or not for sure. Like, say for example, the statue of Abe Lincoln. I know for sure that the George that the that the Mount Rushmore's monuments, like the heads that each and every one of those leaders were dead before they carved them in. I don't know like about anything else, you know. Muammar Gaddafi. Shortly after becoming Omar? Libya's ruler, Colonel Gaddafi exacted his influence by making opposition to his regime illegal, among other measures. This mad dog of the Middle East oh, has a, hey, President a Reagan. goal of a world revolution, Muslim fundamentalist revolution. Suspected of crimes against humanity, the mad dog of the Middle East established extensive surveillance of his people and became increasingly wealthy as the poverty level rose. Despite his indiscriminate murder of rebels during the Arab Spring, discontented Libyans fought back and the brother leader was deposed and killed. There Libyan we go. People now have a great responsibility. Barack Obama. To build an inclusive and tolerant and democratic. Has anybody ever made like a statue of Obama? Not like, not by his decision. They just thought that it would be like, I don't think I've ever seen that. Libya that stands as the ultimate rebuke to Gaddafi's dictatorship. Number four, Obama was cool. Pol Pot. What? Following his ascent, Pol, Pol Pot, Pot? to return Cambodia to its rural roots by forcing city residents nice last to name, dude. on collective farms. Though it held power four years, Pol Pot's communist Khmer Rouge party caused approximately two million deaths with politically motivated murders, torture, forced labor, disease, and food shortages, the victims of which were buried in the killing fields. He what? He to nominal power until his 1998 death. Number three, EDM... Quick question. When so, when people told me to re when uh, when the guy the guy so the guy who told me to react to this when you wanted me to react to this what exactly did you expect me to say? Did you want me to like say my own opinions about this? Did you want me to like express how I feel about this? Well, if that's the latter, if it's the latter, of course I'm not gonna feel happy about this. You already saw my reaction with Mussolini. Any other of these guys. I would not exactly feel the most proud of. Nobody would feel proud with these guys. That's for sure. Not unless they were blinded by the devil to make uh, them think that good is evil and evil is good. Military background and charisma served him Uganda? well as he overthrew the Ugandan leader and became self-proclaimed president for life. His brutal eight-year reign was marked by economic breakdown, political authoritarianism, that means that corruption, human that means rights he did violations, it without, like, ethnic actually making it mass work murder, the legal and rumors way. of cannibalism by the leader himself. Wait, by cannibalism? His followers with unpredictable behavior, the butcher of Uganda ensured he ended his life alone after being ousted and exiled. The whole world are looking at General So Lee he went the Uganda easy way out, the coward's way but out will be the future of Uganda. The people are looking at this. Number two, Joseph Stalin. Oh, After well, it makes sense that he's Vladimir in the list. Lenin, this man of steel became Soviet dictator by discrediting and eliminating rivals. The communists' aggressive industrialization killed millions due to famine, murder, and gulag camps. 
But the Great Ooh. Purge was the darkest period when citizens were deported, incarcerated, and randomly executed. Though he helped defeat the Nazis in World War II, this he paranoid did? man's influence was erased after his death with a period of de-Stalinization. De Number one, Stalinization. Adolf Hitler. As German Chancellor and leader of the Nazis and their... What's there to be expected about this, huh? Of course, this guy was number one. I'd be surprised if he wasn't. Right. Hitler made his motives but clear more with when he the ovens the and the uh, acid showers. And used suppression, propaganda, and death to quash opponents. By annexing countries, triggering World War II, and initiating a holocaust of Jews, gypsies, communists, homosexuals, and the handicapped, Hitler caused tens of millions of deaths and committed some of the worst atrocities in human history. Who do you- I didn't need to hear that short stack go ahead and start yelling his ass, his ass off. You know what pisses me off the most is the fact that this guy is, like, he's got the ball to go ahead and say that he wants everyone who's not German, not blonde, or with blue eyes, and not anything that he wanted uh, dead. I don't know, like, what he, I don't even know what his views are. Like, what was his opinion with Catholics or Christians? I never heard about that, so I'm assuming that like he was either he was either one of the two or maybe an atheist. I don't know, but this guy was basically like going after anyone. I'm willing to bet that he was gonna kill every last person that he didn't even deem to like want to kill before, like did, that he didn't deem as a threat. I'm willing to bet that he would have killed everyone. It didn't matter whether they were German or not. He still killed people. This guy was crazy in the head. I heard that he had a doctor that actually drugged him and made him crazy that way. I also heard a lot of other things, like his mom was Jewish. Um, and that he apparently uh, didn't have like more than, one te more than one testicle. Hopefully it was because it was shot off. That's what I like to think. And if it was, I thank the guy who shot it off every day that this guy did not have any kids. I think have been some of the most ruthless dictators of all time. For more informative top tens, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Makes you wonder. Makes you wonder, how is it that the U.S. hasn't been unlucky enough to get any dictators? So that was my reaction to the top 10 worst people on the planet. I had to go ahead and take take off my uh, my clothes, my uh, tux before because it was getting really hot in here. I don't have my fan on right now, which I should probably get to go in with that. But anyway, yeah, so <clears throat> I don't know why the, the person who told me to react to this wanted me to react to this. What did you want me to say exactly? I'm not mad at you for this, all right? It was informative, it was nice to know, but what am I supposed to say to it exactly? I normally react to videos that are comedic or sad, you know? Like something like, uh, like, P like, uh, like animations, AMVs, stuff like that, you know? I have no idea what to say to these things aside from the fact that they're terrible. It's awful the fact that it happened, and I'm glad that I'm not living in that moment that it happened, because... I'd either die or I'd probably be living enough to to like do something to offend the person on purpose long enough to go uh, in a moment and then die. Okay, it's good to know I can't just be like oblivious to the fact that bad stuff happens in the world. I get that. But then again, how many of you guys like to hear the bad stuff that happens in the world? I seriously doubt that any of you would want to. It's good to be informed, but then again, it kind of makes you depressed. It makes you lose faith in people in general. People like Hitler, that basically makes you think, my God, what is wrong with people uh, in general? And these guys, they didn't start off that way either. I'm willing to bet that they were like any other children who just dreamed big, who wanted to be something else other than what how they ended up. Like, for example, 
I don't know if this is true for, per se, but I heard from somewhere that Hitler wanted to be an artist, not a dictator. He didn't want to go and like be like, kill the Jews, kill the gays, kill the gypsies, kill the handicaps, which is very dumb. Well, are you going to kill yourself if you're a handicap, Hitler? You can't do anything about the other things, uh, uh, but you, you, if somebody decided to go ahead and saw off your leg, I'm willing to bet that you're going to be, that people are going to be like, hmm, so Zephyr is handicapped. Shouldn't we kill him? I'm sorry. That is usually a, I don't know how people are going to, what people are going to say about my German accent. Not that many people watch my videos in the first place, but I gotta be careful with that sort of thing, so I apologize for the accent if it was cringy. Point is, main point is that they didn't start off that way. Try to think about it through the, sh through the eyes of other people. Don't think of it as in a way where you're looking through it. These dictators started off as innocent children who dreamed big, but then something made them blind with uh, blinded uh to a point where they don't know right from wrong in a way it's like the devil goes ahead and whispers into their ear makes them ignore the uh their morale and the and and the good that's supposed to be in their souls you know something like that I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, but it does to me. If you're a Christian, you'd probably uh, let me go ahead. Uh, if you're a Christian, let me go ahead and say it in in this way: they didn't have God in their lives. If you're not Christian, they didn't understand uh, the good, uh, what's right and wrong because they didn't have the role models. They didn't have uh, what most of us would have. All right, you would have role models like uh, Dwayne Johnson or. Or um, Susan B. Anthony, or uh, people like civil ri like civil rights uh, civil rights uh, activists, st uh, people like that, Cameron Kasky, or or uh, Emma Gonzalez. You know P those guys, for example. They would fight for uh, for gun laws, and not that many people would want that, but you guys would because you're you realize the flaws and the right from wrong. You know the difference. Not that many people apparently know the difference between right and wrong, and if they do, they're just that bad of people. Now, of course, it's obvious that those dictators thought, yeah, we're, what we're doing is bad, but then they're going to be like, so what? They're already that far gone, and it's already too late. Think about this, all right? Say, for example, like, you have that one friend that's always pushed around you shouldn't ignore, and you never really paid much attention to them in the first place. Well, I'm not saying there's a high chance for that to happen, but for safety measure, you you have to give you have to go ahead and show that there is someone out there that cares for them, because then they'll start thinking right at, at that moment. If they make a bad decision that'll lead to something worse, they'll think before it happens. What would that one? What's going to happen if I do this? They're going to think of the person that loved them the most. Whether it's like a sister, a bro like a sibling, or a parent, or <clears throat> a relative, or a best friend. There is always some someone that loves you. And if you don't have people like that, if you don't have that one person that loves you so much, I feel like that's what's going to play into the hand. That's what's going to lead into the evil li uh, like an evil life that a person will develop don't join the dark side keep yourselves on the right on the side of good hopefully that makes as about, about as much sense as i could say it as i hope that makes any like a good like a good amount of sense to you guys i'm not exactly the best person for this on some days hopefully uh like what i said uh made sense Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please click that like button. Subscribe if you want to watch more. And forgive me for my ramblings because this is just my opinion, all right? I just wanted to go ahead and say what I think about this and also wanted to give my own like my own uh, thoughts on it, you know? Think about this. You shouldn't hate a person directly because of the decisions that they made because think about this. That person was basically the same as you. So if you ever have 
this situation where you feel like the world is po is against you, just remember there's always that one person to help you. So then you could avoid being just a uh, just like that, you know, like bad, like the kind of people that are out there just making it bad for a bad thing for everyone else, you know, just a bad life for everyone. Jeez, did this became one hell of an emo like a like a weird episode, didn't it? I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please click that like button. Subscribe if you want to watch more. And I'll see you all next time. And again, to the person who told me to react to this, thank you for uh, your request. But if by any chance, maybe next time, it would be uh, something a little less uh, risky, per se. Because like I said, with everything going on in YouTube, it's kind of... It's going to be a bit like hard to go ahead and avoid uh, saying anything that might be offensive to some people. And I don't, and I don't, and I'm not like an offensive, and I'm not like a kind of person who offends people. But I'm afraid that one thing that I'll say, it's going to be offensive to, so, to someone. So anyway, thank you again for telling me to react to this video. And if you like this video, guys, please click that like button. Subscribe if you want to watch more, and I'll see you all next time. Please give me some support, tell your friends about my channel, you know, uh, as I would actually like to have more people watch my videos, it would be really nice, and I really appreciate it. Anyway, thank you so much, stay safe, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao, goodbye, adios, and have a good day.